All right, San Diego State with a 68-61 loss to New Mexico in the Mountain West Tournament Championship game. It was a good run by the Aztecs. Um, as I said the other day, I didn't think that they should have won that UNLV game, but they had a much better bounce back Utah State win. And then today they didn't deserve to win this game. I mean, I didn't watch the entire thing, but I was um, listening on the radio there at the end and during the scoring drought, four and a half minutes there where they don't score, they get down by double digits again in that first half. I know that they cut it down to, what, six at halftime, so that's impressive um, that they continue to fight back and they continue to take the lead after having a big deficit, but that is this team's issue. Um, they weren't good again from three-point range today. Micah Parrish was not as good as he was yesterday. New Mexico had three players in double digits in scoring. The Aztecs had one. I bet you can guess who that was, Jaden Ledee. He has been fantastic pretty much all year long. Whatever's been thrown at him, he's found a way to put up numbers to keep the Aztecs in games. Like, where would this Aztecs team be without Jaden Ledee? When you take into account that they get down even with Jaden Ledee, where would they be without him? Um, just a threat all over the place. So we'll see. We'll see where the Aztecs land now with Selection Sunday tomorrow afternoon. Are they going to be a five seed? Where are they going to be? Um, you know, winning this Mountain West tournament, maybe they would have been able to sneak in as a four seed. Um, and then that would have allowed them to have preferential um, location from where they're going to play those first round games. Uh, but that is not the case anymore. Obviously, last year we know that they were sent to, was it Orlando, Florida? It was not in California for those first games. Now, they ended up going to the national championship game, so San Diego State's not going to be like, oh, that's a big deal. But you'd obviously rather have your fans there, um, a lot of fans there, than to be across the country. So that's going to be something to look at, where San Diego State's going to be location-wise. Um, but... Really, it comes down to the matchup, and it's going to come down to San Diego State. They can't do both of these things. Like today, they did both of these things. Big deficit, and then they had a big scoring drought there in the second half, and you're not going to win, especially against a New Mexico, New Mexico team Excuse me, that was shooting well. It's going to come down to, in the tournament, are they going to shoot well? Is Parrish going to come alive? Guys like that. Those scoring droughts, is that... Are those scoring droughts going to happen or are they going to get down early? One of the two probably can happen and they still can win. But if both happen, that's going to be hard to win, especially when you face these NCAA tournament teams and they're fighting for their lives. Um, New Mexico, I thought they were going to get in anyway. I know they were a bubble team going into this tournament, but they did get that first win. So I thought that was enough, especially when they win two games. I thought that's enough. Um, but, you know, San Diego State, they had the, the legs battle because they had played one less game. Uh, but you got to give credit to New Mexico for playing better than San Diego State today, shooting better um, in terms of, like, double-digit scores, multiple guys contributing really well. And this is a good team, you know. If they didn't make the tournament, this would have been probably the, one of the more disappointing teams ever. I know we're... We're, we're big on recency bias. I think a lot of people have recency bias, but the talent that is on that team for them not to make the tournament would have been really, really disappointing. But, you know, that came alive today. They make it. And so really it's just us hoping that San Diego State doesn't get behind in that first half, in that first NCAA tournament game or any of these NCAA tournament games. Don't get down by double digits because, sure, you can come back, but... You're, you're putting yourself obviously in a hole and then after that you, you got to be like almost perfect it feels like in the second half um and especially when you have guys like Jaden Lee Jane Ledee get you know two fouls I think Paris the other night as well two fouls early Dutch I mean most of the time he doesn't play those guys but sometimes he does like he did the other night um so yeah it's avoiding the holes you know Avoid those holes. It sounds simple, but obviously for San Diego State, it hasn't been that simple. But I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that they made it to the, term the tournament championship game. Um, they had that encouraging Utah State game the other night, but then this game and then the UNLV game weren't that encouraging. So 
Last year, I did not expect them to be a Final Four championship team. This year, definitely not expecting that. Weirder things have happened. Um, obviously, last year happened, so that still gives me hope. But, yeah, I my expectation for this team is not very high in the NCAA tournament. It probably should be, but it's not, just based on their recent form.